The Reds have new life as our StatCast powered by Google Cloud shows us why. Ellie De La Cruz, remember the name, hardest hit homers, age 21 or younger since we started doing StatCast in 2015, and he's on the board with his first big league homer. Again, 115 essentially miles an hour, an elevated fastball. I may, may I remind you, he's a switch hitter. Hmm. This kid is going to fill out that frame. Mike Lowell, he played shortstop today, third base yesterday, and, and then he met the kid. Hey, he met him. There you go. That was pretty awesome. Good deal. I mean, everything's working out for Ellie De La Cruz. If you're the Cincinnati Reds, you're going, we may have a superstar in our hands. Well, I, not only that, I, I look at the Cincinnati Reds and you see where they're at in that National League Central. Why can't they be the Baltimore Orioles of the AL East? You know, the Orioles yeah. made a little bit of noise. Hey, we got a lot of young guys. Adley Rushman, highly touted prospect. Well, the Reds have kind of the same thing in a division that I think is much more. I, you could put yourself in the mix a lot quicker in that NL Central than in the AL East just because of the talent level of those teams. So why can't the Reds put together something special this year, maybe hover around 500 and make the big jump going into next year? So two games, two different positions, and they've got – Matt McClain, who's a young shortstop, they DH him today. Uh, he's been playing shortstop. He's been hitting over 300. I look at it this way. If you've got a star on your hands, not saying McClain's not, but you've got a pecking order, don't you want to just let Mike Trout play center field? Let's not put him to left field and have Peter Borges play center field. Hey, Mike, where do you want to play? Okay, this is where you're going to play. O'Neill Cruz, there was talk, oh, he's built like a, an outfielder. No, if O'Neill Cruz is shortstop, we want he's our number one guy now, right? Let him play his comfortable position. How would you deal with Ellie De La Cruz? He's a minor league shortstop, played shortstop today. What position would you give him, or would you have him play three different positions? I think as a player, you know, I look at the situation. I was in that situation. You know, I came up as a third baseman. I was moving to the outfield, first base. I play all over. So for Hank, I think just being in the big leagues, he's so excited. He doesn't care where he plays right now. I think that's something that you let him play this year, uh, hopefully stay healthy. He can move all over, and then you figure it out next year. But I think my thing, can he be the shortstop, you know, for so long like that, 6'5", you know? I think, uh, as of right now, he's really exciting. I think everybody in Cincinnati, and he's going to be electric for that team, you know? So I will leave it alone, let him play, you know, third base, shortstop, whatever. I think as, I, I, as speaking as a player, because I did it, my mind, I was just so excited being in the big leagues. I didn't care. I was just so excited to see myself in the lineup, and I think that's how he looked at it. The energy right now, watching him play, uh, it reminds me of Fernando Tatis when he broke into the big leagues right now. Right? Didn't Tatis change he, he, the way we looked at yeah, the Padres he brings, immediately? Yeah. yeah. Uh, De La Cruz is doing that for the Cincinnati Reds. He's fun to watch.